Okay, so let's talk about the, the organization uh, for efficiency. Right now, each time that we move this uh, slider, it needs to recompute um, the information within here. So, and then also with our for loop, it's recomputing uh, the information for each is going through a for loop, uh, you know, a thousand times here, and then for the next step, it's going through this for loop a thousand and one time and times, and so it's uh, not efficient at all. Instead, what we want to do is we want to um, have this create this uh, an upper well here. Okay, so that's what we do when we plug in our counter here. Um, and you can see that our time, that it's uh, starting to take more and more time. Right now, this uh, computation isn't taking very long. Uh, but once we have, instead of one bouncing ball, if we have, you know, 200 bouncing balls and they need to react off of one another, you can, uh, it's going to take uh, quite a lot, long time to compute each step. Let me throw in a larger number. Yeah, so you can tell the difference between a thousand and a hundred thousand um, by looking at the milliseconds down here. Uh, so how we want to set up this instead is we just want to set an upper time limit and we want to compute all the values for that. And so we're going to, uh, instead of the add sphere down here, we're going to add the sphere inside this for loop and then we're gonna make a empty list uh, at the top and we're gonna uh, we're gonna put in that list or we're gonna append our sphere into that list and uh, I'm gonna make this smaller And so then we pass that list out. Oops, just pass the list out. We don't need to append. Okay, so now you can see that it's passing out a list of uh, 200 spheres. So we don't want to display all those spheres at once, so we want to uh, turn the preview off and then we want to access to those spheres. So we're going to list list item. We're going to throw in the list and then we're going to put our counter in here. So this way, so now, um, you know, 400 times may compute, may take however long to compute. Um, let's do a thousand. So now a thousand uh, takes this long to compute. So if we were to do this uh, the way we had before, where we threw this in there, it'd take longer to compute than uh, we want it to update. So now instead, we just it computes this once and we get access to those and we can go through those we can go through that uh, we can go through that list as fast as we want so i hope that was clear and um, this is uh, this is the basic setup that we'll be using in the future